Candida auris is a fungus that can cause potentially deadly bloodstream infections. It can also infect the respiratory system, the central nervous system, and the skin. Traditionally, patients who get candida infections um, are patients who've received a lot of antibiotics or are immunosuppressed for other reasons, and they're the people that are most at risk of getting candida auris. The CDC says cases of candida auris are growing in the U.S. It's resistant to common antifungal drugs and can survive on clothing and hard surfaces. It often spreads in hospital settings. The healthcare worker is the transient vector. So they transiently get it on their clothing or on their hands, and then they move it from one room to another or through shared equipment. The University of Maryland is one of 11 epicenters in the U.S. participating in a CDC study of Candida auris. And basically we're trying to understand how, how this Candida auris um, is transmitted to the environment or the healthcare worker, how frequently this occurs so that we can launch infection control interventions to prevent patient-to-patient -patient transmission. The University of Maryland is also gathering data to help the state health department to determine the prevalence of Candida auris in Maryland. I think with these emerging pathogens, it's important not to get overly alarmed at this point. And whenever there's an emerging pathogen, doing research and science to gain important information and to figure out which pathogens are of extreme concern and which pathogens um, are not of concern. And we're, we're very happy to be on the forefront of some of this research and state collaborative work. For the University of Maryland School of Medicine, I'm Larry Roberts.